no good sharing on TV here with Andy Cooper. So we're just touching it tonight with obviously Gaffer not here this afternoon. So wishing him all the best in the recovery. Yeah, very much so. Uh, you know, difficult when you lose your gaffer, but I think the lads, to be fair, a credit to them and the staff have absolutely uh, rallied round and obviously got a performance and a, a result worthy of him. I'm sure he's watching. Uh, I'm sure he got the stream somehow and was able to to try and go through the pain of watching it as a um, spectator for once. But yeah, just want to send him our best wishes. Obviously, able to have a, a brief phone call with him this morning, uh, just to update on progress and a few things that were going on. A couple of final messages that were passed on to the lads, but. I just hope he recovers well. Obviously, a big part of the club, someone that um, we've all got so much respect and time for. And yeah, we've got our fingers crossed that he can recuperate at home, rest, um, and then come back to work. Yeah, and hopefully, we'll be able to look in a, in a good position when he gets back. You want to secure the 1 0 win just to summarise that game for us again? Yeah, by no means the prettiest. Probably not a great game for a neutral, to be honest. Uh, so pleased to get the win, first and foremost. Clean sheet. Uh, march onwards but you know it's a game neither team really got control obviously the opening exchanges they, they were lively and bright as we prepared but we knew they'd come right at us um, unable to to take the chance early on and then the same we were straight up the other end so neither team really grasping control of the game it was too open for me to uh too much end to end without really uh, much quality in the middle but we we knew we needed to dig in, be resilient, uh, be organised, just try and get the ball down and hopefully open them up and try and have a spell in, in possession. Um, probably not as as bright and as brave as we wanted at times, but we, we dug in, we, we obviously came away with the win, the clean sheet, and we're massively pleased with that. This is a couple of early chances open for both sides, but then it did feel like we grew into the game a little bit more from there. Yeah, and you, you don't want to give the opposition uh, chances, but also give them credit because we know how they play. The the difficult, especially um, here, the the well versed to getting at you, getting attacking your back line with with quality that they've got in the wide areas. So we knew it was going to be a real tough challenge, but we prepared for it. We knew we needed to dig in, earn the right in that first 15 minutes, um, be organised, win first and second contacts, and then hopefully as the game settled down and opened up, we could get the ball down a bit more and and play our style, play our way. We didn't probably quite have as much attacking. Uh, opportunities as we wanted in that first half but I thought we were much more controlled with the ball in the second half created um, a few more chances and obviously able to come up with the with the goods at one point. And so, second half fairly similar at times but then Florent Hotty with the strike to get us ahead. Yeah and obviously the impact of the squad throughout the week so we've we asked for togetherness and unity and everyone to rally around and just to make sure that we were um, a team obviously brought together under difficult circumstances with the news that we weren't going to have the man leaders on the sideline. So um, lads came off the bench and then had an impact, obviously the ball down the side, the, the pace in, in wide areas from, from Max after the ball from Joe and then lovely uh, accommodation play in the middle to get the shots off. So yeah, really pleasing phase of the game. Uh, would obviously like to have, uh, for the staff's benefit, sorry, be a bit more controlled uh, and seen the game out or even maybe got an extra goal to maybe be a bit more secure, but I thought we were well worthy of, of the points in what's really a nip and tuck game, but obviously we were the one who came up with a, with a good when it mattered. So we've seen that second half as well, Adam Adatoro forced off with injury, what, what do we know about that? Yeah, just a big collision, a big 50-50 challenge and obviously credit to um, Maidenhead United have come over and checked on and make sure and the doctors had a look, so we'll need to assess further. Um, the initial assessment was we wanted to continue, we had a look further and then it was the decision was made to withdraw him obviously. and. Um, just for protection and, and further assessment really so we'll we'll have a look see how he is obviously he's uh, been a big part of what we're doing a big character since he's joined he's, he's had maximum minutes in, in all the games so far so um, yeah we just hope that he, he recovers well and, and no doubt we're medical team will assess him now and see where we're at. Just, as you'd expect with a 1-0 lead came under a fair bit of pressure towards the end but held on for an away win and, and another clean sheet. Yeah, and we do that a lot and, you know, teams are going to put it on us later on in games. They obviously bring Barrett on, who's got the long throw and we probably concede a little bit too many corners and throws at, at the end. But um, if you get the second, it obviously puts the game to bed and you get the opportunity. But we, yeah, sat a little bit deeper. But one thing we had was endeavour, hard work. We grafted our socks off to try and stop uh, crosses coming in the box, blocks at the end. And um, really, really pleasing team performance in terms of we knew it was going to be a difficult place to come. The challenges that we faced um, today with, with the news. Um, but the lads absolutely got together, stuck together, delivered a game plan uh, perfectly in terms of what we knew would happen. Um, and we're pleasing to come away with, like you say, we'll get back to back wins. We're still unbeaten away from home. Um, in terms of on the pitch, there's so much to be positive about. Because obviously, up next, a quick turnaround. It's another long away trip down to Braintree on Tuesday night. 
Yeah, certainly is, and, and that's a challenge for us is to um, to be right at it again. So the recovery starts now. The analysis of opposition continues. We don't rest up. We want to main, maintain consistency in what we're doing. We want to make sure that we're putting a performance that uh, the gaffer would be proud of. Uh, make sure that we continue with the momentum that we've had in recent games and the quality that we've shown. Maybe take care of the ball a little bit better. Um, and be a little bit braver, but I think when we did, we can we can really hurt teams. So yeah, looking forward to it. Another big challenge for us, uh, but one that we'll be ready for. Thank you.